and day 51 of our 90 day challenge. I love this scripture. I know it by heart and I know it by KJV because if you are a child of the king, then the only version of scripture that's real is the KJV. That's how I was raised. <laughs> I now know differently. But Habakkuk 2 and 2 says, write the vision, make it plain so that those who read it may run. For the vision is for an appointed time. Though it tarry, wait for it. I say this year after year because I know that it's important. That the glory, the anointing, and the calling is on the vision, not necessarily the visionary. So that helps me because if I don't write the book, God will give it to someone else. The other thing I think is important for us to remember is that for every vision, you should have a leader who sees and says. You should have a reader who reads what was said and you should have some runners. And I think we take for granted the reality that everyone can read or that everyone can run. No, the reason that God has you as the leader is because you see, they run and they read. Today, galvanize your group of team members around your weaknesses. Hire strengths for your weakness so that you can have a holistic management plan. Even if you are called to own and lead your family to the next level, still create a team so that you can find out who's the reader, who's the runner, and how can I execute effectively. Now go and do what God has called you to do.